John, you have f times g of x, right? And I told you guys, this is what this means is, that means f of x times g of x. So what you guys notice in here is this is a little difficult because now I have a polynomial times another polynomial, right? So what I really have is x squared minus 5x plus 1 times x squared plus 7. Now, I wanted to do this problem because I want to show you guys how do you multiply a trinomial times a binomial. Remember what I showed you guys to do is create this box, right? <coughs> create a box with as many terms as you need. So here I have a binomial, so I'll write x squared plus 7, and here I have a trinomial, x squared minus 5x plus 1. So when I'm multiplying, all I'm simply doing is multiplying to find the area of each box and then adding them up. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times negative 5x is negative 5x cubed. x squared times 1 is x squared. 7 times x squared is 7x squared. 7 times negative 5 is negative 35x. And 7 times 1 is positive 7. Now, I know to remember the diagonal happens, but that's just the way, since we write in descending order, that's the way it works. So what we can see is, Yes. Yes. Do you have Cody Waldron? Yes, I do. Could you send it to the front office for checkout, please? Okay. Yeah. All right. So now, ladies and gentlemen, Your video. now what we can do is now we say, oh, I can combine these two, which will give us 8x. So I can say that f times g of x equals x to the fourth minus 5x cubed plus 8x squared minus 35 plus 7. Right? That's a big answer. But what if I asked you, what is f of g of negative 1? So now I'm not asking you, what is this of x? But now you're going to have to put what in for the x? The negative 1. So that is going to equal negative 1 to the fourth minus 5 times negative 1 cubed plus 8 times negative 1 squared minus 35. Right, it's a lot of work, isn't it? Now, and then you have to go and evaluate that. Would you guys can do that, right? I mean, it's, it's a lot more work and stuff like that. But I want to make sure I can go through. Guys, what was the other way I told you guys to do this? F times g of negative 1. Actually, let's just get this answer in real quick. This becomes positive 1. Um, that becomes negative 1, so plus positive 5. That's positive 1 times um, positive one times 8, so it's going to be plus 8. That's going to be a positive 35 Holy plus 7. Shit. So therefore, we're going to get 6, 14, um, 49, 56. Okay. So you guys can say, hey, 56. All right, do it all that way. However, the other way to do this is you guys can simply say f times g of negative 1 equals f of negative 1 times g of negative 1. Right? Mr. McLogan? Yes. Yes. Could you give me your extension? I've got a call to transfer to your voicemail, and the one that I have evidently is not correct. What is your voicemail extension? Um, I do not know. I got changed, so I don't have the correct one. Okay. Um, I will just take um, a message down the old-fashioned way and stick it in your box. That would be great. Thank you. Thank you. So here what I have is x to the fourth minus 3x squared. Um, <laughs> now, if I want to do f of negative 1, what do I need to find f of negative 1 is what? Just plug in negative 1 in for there, right? So negative 1 squared minus 5 times negative 1 Good. plus 1. And then I need to do g of negative 1. So let's go and do this. Negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. So 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 5 is 7. So f of negative 1 is 7. And then I go through g of negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. What is uh, 7 times 8, ladies and gentlemen? 60-something. How about let's try 56? I'm supposed to have So, what you guys notice is there's two different ways to do this. You guys can either multiply them. Mallory, this is what I want you to understand. You can either multiply them and then evaluate for your number, or what you can simply do is evaluate each one and then multiply. Okay, I want you guys to understand there's the both sides of this for you guys to do. All right, now, the last one we're going to go over. 
So this was. Uh,